Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn and Reels. My name is Mazi Chechuku Focus, and today we just want to take another look at Nollywood. I mean, we gotta support ours, right? Excellent. So today we're just gonna take a tiny look at a subject that whenever an average Nigerian hears it, he goes, Jesus is Lord. God forbid. Oh my God. Tufiakwa. Get out right, right here, man. I'll be lie. I'll be true. And many, many exclamatory words for something bad and ungodly. Ever heard the phrase, the truth is a no more? If you know, you know. Old Hollywood back in the days was about a lot of things. Witches and demons, evil in-laws dragging land, Ramsey Noah's lover boy, Inia Edo's house girl, Jim Ike's Americana, ritual cult, and Igbo people going to Lagos and becoming rich in three years and driving back to the village in a jeep. In this same Lagos that some people have been living for years and still no jeep. Yeah. Actually, I would have said SUV, but we know we all call big cars jeep. So don't stress me. Anyway, that was back in the days. New Nollywood came with a bang of reinventing the wheel, breaking new grounds, area drone shots, camera angle panning, making Hollywood level standard movies, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey, we are even making horror movies now, Hollywood style. <laughs> with our very own stories, of course. And don't get me wrong, they are trying with powerhouses like Ebony Live, Golden Effect Pictures, Rock TV, and others we don't even know their name. But all these guys are just telling and showing us things that most of us have seen in different ways, but with a different cast. Like we said in our other video, Nollywood is really upping the scale of production, and that's awesome. But who else has the cojones, the mind, to do something others are afraid or choose not to do? Who? Well, since you asked, I present Uya Ipe Tim. No, not Nse. Another Ipe Tim. No relation. With her film Ife. Ife tells the tale of two women who fall in love over a three days date but struggle with the realities of same sex love in a country overridden by sanctimony and hypocrisy. You see that right there? That important line? No, not sanctimony and hypocrisy, of course. More on that later. Three days date. They fell in love on a three days date. Three effing days. While well, some of you are still in talking stage after two years. <clears throat> When the trailer for Ife dropped, as expected, some love dates pouring praises and sweet anticipation for its quick arrival, some hated it and were calling Jesus and Hellfire and my body itches me. I never expected it. While others were screaming, No! 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 no. <laughs> the whole scenario was just funny. Why? Because we are a bunch of hypocrites in this country. Ooh, that's right, I said it. It had to be said, somebody got to say it. We all know there are gay and lesbian people all over Nigeria. Some of you have friends and siblings who are gay. Some of you are aspiring gays but hide under the umbrella of I was just in my experimental phase. Shut up, ho. And even some of you are full-blown homosexuals but won't agree you are. <laughs> Not until you get caught in the act after being married to an opposite sex. Like I said, it's just funny. We find reasons to hate, reasons to be self-righteous, reasons why what and who we are is better, reasons why we must dismiss something even before seeing it. One guy's pain was that they probably used straight actors to portray lesbians. Like what the f kind of reason is that? Hey <laughs> God, shit, your favorite Nollywood actor said might even be gay and you wouldn't know. And you'd be saying, Sam! Dude, gay actors play straight role all the time. Like this guy's, or this guy, or even this guy. Anyway, back to Ife. The movie looks like a simple character-driven piece, which is set to tell a side no one wants to tell or even give a chance to. And honestly, we? <laughs> We're all in for it. Just give us a good story garnished with some lovely acting and purge our emotions in the process. We'll take it. They say art imitates life and just like the new wave cinema movement that happened in different parts of the world from France, America, Japan, South Korea and many others that ushered in a new wave of how filmmakers approach existential themes and argues that cinema should become a new means of expression on the same level as painting and the novels. A form in which by which an artist can express his thoughts however abstract they may be. But as you know now, we all like to act like these things don't happen here. So why should they make a movie about it. There are no gays, lesbians, or even any LGBT people in Nigeria. <laughs> Shit. And yet Bobriski is still asking us not to call him bro. <laughs> what is your bro? Please, honey bro, your bro is in Yaba. 
Nothing with Bessie never see. I'm on nothing with Bessie never see. Forget T.I. Say Bash. Now, let's talk a little about porn. Mojo. Blue film. <laughs> Did you know that in 2013, Nigeria ranked second globally for internet searches for gay porn? <gasps> pull up, pull up, pull up. Did you also know that last year, Google revealed 10 Nigerian states with the highest searches of gay porn? 10! With Lagos and Abuja even represented. So let me ask this. Who is watching all these videos? Is it Boris government? <laughs> you can't tell me that people just like watching gay porn when they aren't gay. It's not a Marvel movie now. Nah. Uh-uh, you said check out. Cause even more research from Pornhub over the last 10 years shows that more people view porn on their phones. But you will hardly see anyone who says they watch porn, masturbate, is gay or lesbian. We just hear stuff like I'm a pansexual apparently. What like? This guy gets it. When we hear gay or lesbians, the only thing that comes to mind first is the sex, the knack, the colette, the saba, the ooh ah. <laughs> How are they f***ing? Is it just fingering, scissorsing, or fisting? Why are you gay? This is you are gay. In the end, we just want to say that as much as we like to act like there are not many gay or lesbians in Nigeria or act like we are all peers to God, be sure to check on that your priest. Who knows, he may be drilling little boys with the word of God on the side or even that imam that gives your kids Quranic lessons or even that pastor whom you and your whole family calls my daddy. We, we are just here for the arts, man. And if it's good, we will watch it, talk about it and even review it. A whole lot of you may not agree with all the things we said in this video, but that's fine, we really don't care. We just want to see a relatable existential story captured well, and we know it's not going to come out in cinemas. <laughs> the old guys at the National Film and Video Censors Board. <laughs> nope. So maybe we'll all see it on Netflix. For director Uyai Bear team, she said she just want to change the narrative and portray the side of LGBTQ people that no Nollywood movie dares to do. Thank you guys for watching. For more movie and TV related stuff, make sure you follow Popcorn and Reels on all social media platforms. And please, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Post credit scene. Please, who came up with the name Blue Film for porn? Till now, I've not still gotten an answer. Hmm. You are shouting gay, gay, gay. But you watch and love movies like Set It Off, Brokeback Mountain, Dallas Buyers Club, Rocket Man, Call Me By Your Name, Moonlight. <laughs> also, this is just a friendly advice. If the director gets detained or arrested, hope you all will come out and carry placards in protest and not just be doing, I love this, oh, more of this, I can't wait, only on the comment section.